Here's another video that the viewers have demanded for quite some time. Finally got around to doing it. A three-car garage. How would you frame something like this? This is going to be a three-car garage with a gable roof. And, of course, we're going to use trusses. Now, I will put a link at the end of the video. I have already made a series on how to frame two-car garage roofs. And, of course, a two-car garage. Uh, and I'm hopefully going to put together a book. If I do get the book done, I will put a link to it on the website. But uh, when I get to it, who knows? So let's go ahead and get started. We have the sheathing there. Whip around. Plywood. A view of the foundation. Uh, the foundation for something like this most of the time is going to require a 12 inch wide and it'll be 12 inches deep and then have a slab maybe five inches thick or four inches thick and again remember this is not i'm in southern california if you're dealing with frost lines or um you know i've actually seen people just pour a six inch slab without any footings and build a garage on top of it so do not uh, get uh, carried away and think that every little bit of information in my videos is going to work everywhere. If you have a frost line, for example, um, where the ground freezes, you might need to have uh, really deep footings. They might need to go below the um, frost line, but uh, you can get more information on that from your local building department or building authorities. Now, if you notice here, we have a raised stem wall. And that is because the garage floor usually slopes towards the openings. You probably don't want it to slope back uh, against uh, to where the water is going to pool up in the corners here. So standard construction method here. Framing, of course, two by fours. You might want to use two by six. And I think I have a four by 12 header here, 16 foot opening. And here we have an 8-foot opening with a 4x10, and this could always be a continuous header. Or you could put a block here and strap it. I might have some more information in some of the other videos, but I am going to do more. I'm going to try and create a few more roofs uh, designs for something like this in the future. When I get to it, who knows. A truss roof. This is a 4 and 12 pitch. I believe it's 2x6 fascia board, 2x4 lookouts. And again, I don't have all the hardware in here you might need. Just kind of just giving you an idea. A lot of times I've found in making these videos is that all we need are a few pictures. And in this case, the video really makes a difference because you can stop it. You can, you know, um, hit the old play button and then stop it at different sections and uh, see what's going on sometimes so these videos really seem to be helping people out a lot i guess otherwise i wouldn't be making them right so a view from the underside gable gable end um, a long you will need to connect the two walls with some type of a brace and of course this also stabilizes the ceiling on the trusses and you might actually need one uh, here I have one in the middle. You might need two of them, and that would be maybe in the one-third section and the two-third section of the ceiling. And, of course, a brace here. Um, sometimes I've seen people put braces going this way, but it seems to make more sense with it going this way, bracing off to the wall and coming back. This prevents the gable end from leaning out or leaning in. And there is the roof sheathing, and that is it for this video. Hope you like it. If you do, you know what to do. Hit the old thumbs up button.